We can have the perfect night. Let's see. Everybody, come on. Shooting star, We could have the perfect night. Thank you very much, everyone. Wonderful guitarist Michael and Danny all the way. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. Oh, what an absolute amazing night. I have awesome. never, I know how good you, you are, but I've Chris. never, I've never You're, seen you like that. It's literally brilliant. I think Chris has got a new life now. I did ask him afterwards, I said, out of everything you've done in your life, does that top it? And he said, yeah. So that was, he is at, at 50 years old, just peaked. Now let's, let's do what they do on our tour. <laughs> The truth of the matter is, Chris just completely blew me away. I never thought I'd sound so proud. I thought it would sound, you know, patronising, but honestly, it blew me away. Thank you very much, oh, man. man. Thank you. So it meant everything. Man. It really did. It meant everything to get all my brothers on stage, obviously. I wish we had um, my brother Andrew with us as well. It's such a shame that he wasn't there to see it, but that stays in the in the archives up here, you know, and that's priceless to me. That is just the top. Chris, I need to hug you, man. He, 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 he it was a real special moment to have four of us up there. It really felt special, to be honest. It's an incomplete circle, but we're, but we're there, you know, and it was so nice. That is a manual breast pump. Coming up. I'm freaking out with all this breast pump talk and stuff. There's a scary shopping spree for Pete. I'm having heart palpitations. And he keeps the children abreast of his plans. If one night I want to feed the baby, she can. She's... Uh, I want to... Oh, how do I explain this to you? Morning and Pete's got a rare day off. Emily McDonald's, you oh. look stunning, darling. They're looking at photos from the Pride of Britain Awards. You look very brown. Why were you so brown? I'm Greek, dude. You know, very nice. And we're the same height. Well, this is a sort of an illusional thing. That illusional? This is a thing that I did happens. have heels on as well, you know. Everyone thinks that she's way taller than me, but let's stand up. No, sh no shoes on. <laughs> Thank you. Hold on, hold on. Right. right, we are pretty much. Pretty well, much. You've got shoes on, and I. We're about. We're pretty shoes. much exactly the same. I've got trainers same. on that have got nothing. But we're on. the same, like pretty much, aren't we? Yeah, Dead on. So a lot of people think. There we go. Anyway, whatever. Who yeah. cares? You are tall and beautiful. Not that you've got a complex about it or anything. <laughs> As if I have. I haven't got the tall man syndrome. Small man syndrome. Oh. Just a small man syndrome. You look really nice. Really, really nice. You look nice too. Yeah, I know. No, I'm just joking. I do look proper bumpy, don't I? I mean, you look gorgeous, no matter what. You're carrying my child. With the baby on their mind, it's the start of an important day. Pete and Emily have come to a shopping centre to finally start their baby preparations. I've got my flat boots on. How's this? I'm the same size. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and while Pete has the obligatory coffee, Emily's prepared the mother of all shopping lists. Baby sling, breast pump, nipple shield. Yeah, that's things that are not for you to read. So I've you never get, done this before. I do need to get an espressing machine. Oh, I've got an espresso machine at home, which is brilliant. So I need to get one of those, which is very <coughs> unglamorous. Can I do that what do you here? mean? So what happens? So you put it in a bottle? Yeah, I'm not going to repeat the conversation about that or anything. No, but obviously you es express it into the so bottle. What, so there's a machine that you use to express the milk outside? But I've yeah. never... 
he was thinking literally like a milk pail, like milking a cow. Well, think about it, right? <laughs> what, what, what's the difference? Straight into a bucket. That's what you were thinking, wasn't it? No, I thought... Don't I, deny I, it. I honestly thought it would be like... You'd open the lid of the bottle yeah, and you would do that. That's what I thought you would do. There's a machine. With that cleared up, it's time to hit the shops. It all starts well. Should we get some trousers? And top. Oh my gosh, look. Thing is, what do we get? Little tiny, tiny ones, or should we get medium ones? But it soon gets a bit much for Pete. This is the question. Oh, okay, and this is where you're freaking me out. I don't know. We yeah. should get some little vests. Yes, we've got vests. some little vests. We've got some little sleeveless ones. This there. time I wasn't prepared um, for I it. I would say new baby. And I'm like, yeah, I haven't seen it's someone this well. small in a long time. Get their arms. Exactly. No, it's much more easy. It's just it's underneath. Bent. There's a way forward. Long. That's it. See, so yeah, I quite like that. That is a manual breast pump. I was going to go for electric. Breast pumps. Is that achy? Yeah. With your hand. Yeah. I'm freaking out with all this breast pump talk and stuff. Should we keep moving? I would love that. Oh, I'm having heart palpitations. Pete, what do you think about this? Love it. No, no. Oh, that sorry, doesn't count. You haven't seen it. But after an initial struggle... What are you doing? I don't know. My hand can't come out. Can you help me? Oh. Pete soon finds his feet. Snoozy Safari, play Matt, Matt and Jim. He's getting more into it. Have you noticed? He's now like, I want one of those travel play mats, please. He's getting into it. Aqua's nice, though, isn't it? Whatever you want. Aqua, I'm having yeah. aqua. Yeah, I'm I'm happy happy with that. It's so exciting. Yes, oh, I've got geez. one. Lovely. Is there other baby powder you want? Or... We should get to powder, yes. yes. Do you want lotion for after? Yes. I found something. Yeah? This is, oh. it's, it's called, you can lay them down or you can sit them up. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I absolutely love it. Good spot. OK, brilliant. I'm excited. Well into it now. Yeah. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <laughs> Oh, they are the best. I've been excited about getting one of these. They are the best. Oh, sorry, so this, the... this is the one. It's nice to be able to go around and pick everything from new and never know if we have more, then we'll have everything already. It's perfect, although not for a while, because I'm not sleeping very well already. So I'm happy to leave it a few years. <laughs> I know where we can take the baby for its first vacation. Cotswold. Why? Cot. Oh. oh, that's... That's quite funny. <laughs> Happy. Very. It's been a successful trip. It's all real now, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's all real. And it's got Pete thinking ahead. I've won Father of the Year awards, and yet I have no idea what to do yeah, in a natural birth. How would you know? Because you've never seen a natural birth. Are you going to say something like, oh my God, the contractions are starting? Or are you going to say, my waters have broke? What, what are you going to say? I don't know. What, what would you say? for each person. Is a midwife coming over or something, did you say? The midwife's coming over in a few weeks because... To talk me through. Yes, because I know that you're a bit unsure. I think you'll feel happier about the birth thing. Because don't get me wrong, it's, it scares the life out of me. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm literally terrified. Yeah, you but would be. I'm lucky, obviously, I've seen it all lots of times before and I know what to expect. So I think when you've seen the midwife, you'll be able to ask her all the questions. She'll be able to tell you loads of stuff. So I know it sounds really silly. Come here. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You're going to be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Finally, Pete and Emily get their baby booty home. That is it, I think, for now.